Hey everybody, this is Ben and welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program where I am pursuing my Kerbal career. Uh, since uh, last time, all I've done is just kind of orbit for a bit here. Jeb and I, um, I have not been, uh, I should actually think about taking a reading real quick. I don't know. What the heck am I over? Let's just look at some goo. How about that? Goo? Yeah, all right, it's cool. It's become brittle. So when I say keep data, is that like, is that all those can store? Hmm, I'm not sure. Uh, but if you notice, I have a node set up here um, and to reach the moon. We will be seeing how this goes. I do have, I have landing legs on here but I very well might not be using those legs. Um, actually, now that I think of that, I need to adjust, I need to completely adjust my moon trajectory. Why are you moving? Weird. Anyway, um, to make sure that I have, um, you know, I have a, a, a decent, that's not so close of an encounter, but uh, let me see if I can pop that. There we go. And see what we can do. That's getting longer and longer. I would really like a close approach that would leave me with the ability to s return <laughs> to Kerbin. So I think that's about uh, where I was, was about uh, the best I'm going to do here. What is that, 272? Yeah, that's that's painful. Anything bigger and I start getting this this slingshot effect. But, whoop, whoop, left, left the window there for a moment. Uh, let me... Go ahead, how are we doing there? 27, that looks good. I'm gonna stick with that. That's about what I had. And I should be able to make adjustments if I need to. So... Let's see here, that's retro. So I think my node's gonna be like, that's not SAS, this thing's just heavy. My node's gonna be like down here, right? Yeah. Oh, 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 come on. Huh. Yeah, look at that. The the old standby method. I can see I got the, the pink and the uh, node reticle there. The old standby before they had maneuver nodes was uh, just or you and your orbit around Kerbin here. You come up over the horizon and as soon as you see the moon, you just point straight at it and thrust until your, you know, orbital path here went out and reached a point where it would intersect. <laughs> and even now using the maneuver nodes, that's still almost exactly the alignment that you end up with. So that was, that was that's a, I don't know if that was intentional or not, but that was a, that's a neat little kind of a tidbit, I guess, that made it real easy to reach the moon even early in, in the, uh, early in the alpha cycle of Kerbal Space Program here. So now, I have very little fuel left in this stage. I'm not sure how the next stage's engine is going to affect this burn time. We shall see. Almost there. There's the moon. One minute to node. See, I actually I would have been uh, would have been off by like a minute in the past, but that's. So I am gonna start. I think I'm gonna start here because I know the next engine is less powerful. So let's line up. Oh, that's got a good a good chunk of that. Taken away. Oh yeah, but this look at this one. This is way longer. It's gonna be like a minute. 
of burning my little tiny, tiny, tiny spaceship. Let's see how this looks. Yep, we're increasing. How's my fuel looking? Pretty good. It's a lot of burn. That's... Come on. Oh, very responsive now. Jeez. <laughs> Going to fine-tune mode. Come on. Stay on that dot. And... That looks good. Let's see what we got here. Um, get rid of the node. And... What? Are we not intersecting the moon? Uh, that is not what it said just a moment ago. <laughs> Target at cl position at closest approach. What the heck? I presume everybody else saw that as well. Um... I am upset, I would say. Perhaps not as upset as Jeb. But, um... Nope, let's, let's, not, let's leave our goo alone for now. And... I have to figure out what to do, because... There we go. Okay, jeez. Um, that's not very close. So, I need to burn this way extremely inefficiently. Let's see what that does. There. <laughs> Okay, fine. That was that wasn't so bad, I guess. But seriously, okay. So let me see here. What was that? Yep, that was decreasing it. So let's do it now. I'm barely burning anything to do it. So better there. Eight. Ooh, that's actually a little a little low. <laughs> We'll adjust that as I get closer. So, uh, crisis averted there. Um, I may be setting myself up for a larger crisis later, but we can't know that yet. Let's begin our, our warp. Oh, I gotta, let's do, uh, Jeb. Sorry. EBA. EBA report. Yes, let's keep that data. Get back in. Oh, board. Yes, thank you. A oh, high over Kerbin. All right, I think we can do another goo observation. Cancel. We gotta reset. Reset the goo. Oh, there we go. Oh goodness. <laughs> The goo feels right at home here. That's creepy. We'll reset that. And now we'll warp for a while. See where we get. Is this a separate? Let's see if this is a separate uh, region here. Goo feels right at home. I guess we'll keep it. I don't know what I'm doing here. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, EVA, you've recorded your observations about the situation. Great. Get back in there, Jeb. Come on, board. Aw. 
Yeah, bored anyway. Fine. I guess we didn't go far enough yet. Yeah, there's something about uh, the amount of data or experiments that the pod can store. It's not designed to store more than like one report or whatever per, I don't know what it's like, biome or whatever it's called. Where's the moon? There's the moon. So let's just get a bit closer, a bit closer, a lot closer. All right. I feel like this has got to be a separate, uh, Uh-oh. Okay, whew, scared myself. Thought I ran out of electric charge. Oh, I was still warping, that's why. Okay, good. Open up. Goo feels right at home. I think this is all just... Do I need one of these pods for each reading? So if I reset that... Am I losing that every time? So if I review data... I guess I should transmit some of this, huh? Because I'm going to be taking a lot of... That's going to take a whole bunch of electric charge, though. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Uh, so I'm going to do this manually, and I'm going to reset that one. And we'll do another EVA. EVA report. Keep data. Oh, geez. Jeb, you're just floating there. All in space, high over Kerbin. This is what you call high over Kerbin, huh? Okay, fine. I already recorded it. This, this seems like a high over Kerbin seems like a bit of a an understatement. <laughs> Oh, jeez. That's... That's a funky little... This is gonna be interesting. I didn't realize I had a funky little loop-de-loop -loop around there. Yeah, I'm really slowing down now. <laughs> the orbital velocity is tanking. Man, I'm surprised the moon's going to even launch me here. Seems more likely to uh, capture me. Alrighty. What we got here? 17. That's what I want. Let's focus here. Give me a no... Come on. Maneuver. Let's see if we can come in low. Whoop, not that low. Twenty and fifteen. Thirty one and sixteen. Let's get that back to like twenty ish. Ah, uh, there. Perfect. Looks good. So, somewhere... Yep, over here near retrograde. Wish my resources would stay up. Uh, 21 second burn. That's quite a bit. I'm a little surprised. Okay, coming in. Seconds. Seven, six, five minutes, four, three, two, one. Regular speed. All right, let's let's do this at what? Fifteen seconds. 
And we'll see where we're going. 15, 17, 16, 15. Throttle it up. This is a very efficient engine. I'm very pleased. Very pleased that I have this for this mission. Would have been quite difficult without it. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, 11 and 17. That's not what I wanted, but it's okay. 11 should still be fine to clear the surface. As far as I know. I have not visited the moon in a while. So. Experiments. Observe goo. Whoa, scientific value is 30. That's... that's amazing. What if I trans... Uh, that's, I have to th I have to thrust with the engine to gain electric charge, so I'm just gonna keep that. And... Hey, you know what? Let's... Can I close those up? Kinda... Kind of protect them? Yeah, sounds good. Keep data? Great. Jeb, EVA, grab onto there. Jeez, dude, don't just float around. EVA report. Oh man, science value is awesome out here. The moon's the place to be. Keep that data, get back inside. Crew report. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, override existing crew report, that's fine. Oh man, that's... It looks really beat up with craters. And... I'm gonna go ahead and send that one back. Excellent. 15 science added. That's what I like to see. And I also like to see that little antenna working, because that's awesome. Uh, 5.6. Yeah, that's that's fine. I don't need that right now. All right. Do we try to land? Hmm. I am... <sighs> no, no, we don't try to land. That would That would defeat the purpose of all of this science that I have stored up. So, let me just see here. View data. So this one's 30 science. This one, view data, is 10 science. I think I might want to... I'll dump that data. And do an observe goo on this size. Yeah, look at that, it's still 30 up here. Totally saving that. Keep data. View data, 30, good. View data, 30. Okay, apparently I should be keeping, having like a bunch of different canisters or something. I don't know, I should be getting a lot of science for this. That much I know. Let's close those up, looking good. So let's plot a course home. Uh, we want to roughly thrust from here so let's just oh that's million nine hundred thousand okay I'm starting to really not be very efficient here I feel there we go, that's why it wasn't pointed quite. So what is that, 19 seconds? I wonder how much. I so, I'm so close to wanting to try to land on here, but my Delta V is just too close. I can't, I can't see making it.
70. That's coming in. Oop. 30. Looks good. Actually, I'm going a little higher than that. Oh, wow. So I don't need that much. 62. Mm hmm, mm hmm. All right, there's our return path. So, unfortunately, we didn't make it to land on the moon, but we've orbited the moon, which that's a pretty that's a pretty dang good accomplishment, in my opinion, especially given the uh, explodey rockets that we were dealing with just not long ago. <laughs> so it's time to bring Jeb back home. And, oh boy, I don't know if I should rush this or I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this off here. In the next episode, we will bring Jeb home and I will decide what to do with all the science that I've earned. And hopefully I will be getting a lot of it. I'm looking for somewhere around like 70 or 80 science, which should be enough to get me some nice parts for my next mission. So thanks everybody for watching. I'll catch you the next episode.